and welcome back to for more Let's Play Shadowrun on Super Nintendo. We last left off with me, well, failing pretty hard and losing Kitsu and Norbert in the process. I'm going to rehire them and, well, I hope they stay alive this time around. The problem with ghouls is once you're in melee combat, it gets an unpredictable. This is the building where I'm heading to, by the way. Quite uh, certain if I'm a good light spot. But first, I'm going to pick up uh, invincibility. I recall from uh, the dog totem. Might as well on here. And I'm going to pick up Kitsune, and then I'm going to pick up Norbert. Actually, first I'm going to pick up the and then I'm going to pick up Kitsune. Uh, mainly because Kitsune is not doing that hard in the front. Then I'm going to clean out Drake Corp, um, which should give me a lot of money. Which should be able to get me the last few things I need. Uh, in order to uh, What's that? Um, yeah, in order to get completely ready for the volcano. I'm not going to the volcano just yet. It's a dangerous place. Okay. We got invisibility. The skills of Oh, oh okay, for armor we need to go to the volcano. <sighs> that complicates things. Well, it can be that bad. I mean, the mermaid cold blood creature like most likely was a pretty friendly thing. She just shed her scales and never attacked us. How much worse can the warm blood creature be? Oh well, you have to sacrifice something for the best spell in the game. Which reminds me, um, armor works in the same way as plain armor, only it's for one screen. Uh, basically, the force of your spell, spell level, is how much armor you're going to get. So a level 1 spell adds 1 armor, which would put me at 5. A force 6 spell would put me at 10. However, it's expensive to cast and well expensive to cast and it only lasts for one screen so at times you're likely better off with just popping and a heal and it does not protect against magical attacks which should not matter in the slightest You are you don't even penetrate my bonus amount of armor. Two is still but it's best of killing that poor guy. Get out of there, you got eaten. Yeah, come on. That's why I think I recall what the ice quest was for. It's basically allowing you to get the ship. 
The vampire glitch would have brought it. the money would have been here easily enough, but until then I have to be a shotgun and see what money I can draw out of um, Drake. You know what I'm going to do is get to there. It's 2000 doing that I can uh, put into uh, my new weapon or the partial body suit. I'd like to go with the weapon first. The shotgun's starting to lag behind damage wise. Just in order, Norbert. And you should start dying now. You're starting to annoy me. Uh, you have to uh, get a password. However, we did get the password. And right now we're going to use our nice cyber deck, which is on page 2 now, on a computer. They're logging on activity, and ICE is active. As you can see, Drake Volcano. Yay! Alright, let's check out here, shall we? And now the elevator is activated. This is the hardest part of the game. It's starting to lag severely. Okay, back down. One of them is dead. Pity about all the money uh, we left behind there. But they should not respawn. video right here and we'll continue hacking next time see you next time on let's play Shadowrun <laughs>